Have you ever felt broken, lost, alone? It's a pain that runs deep, leaving you searching for answers, for healing, for wholeness. There is hope. God's grace has the power to restore, to heal, and to transform our lives. Each of us has a journey towards wholeness. We all face different challenges, traumas, and heartaches. Stay tuned as we uncover the strength, resilience, and healing that God's grace offers in our individual paths to wholeness. Seven years ago, I lost my mom and I felt completely broken. The pain was indescribable because six months prior to her passing, I had lost my dad also. I hit rock bottom. I turned to God's grace. I surrendered my pain and allowed him to mend my shattered spirit. It wasn't an overnight transformation. Healing takes time and patience, but through prayer, therapy, and support of others, I started piecing myself back together. I discovered the beauty in brokenness. It's a journey that can lead us to wholeness we never thought possible. God's grace is our guiding light, leading us towards healing, forgiveness, and restoration. Let's look at how we can acknowledge brokenness, receive comfort and encouragement. We all experience brokenness in different forms. It could be a broken heart after a heartbreaking loss, a broken spirit from years of struggle, a broken relationship that shattered your trust. In the midst of all this, there is hope and we can find encouragement in scriptures. In Psalm 34, it says, the Lord is near those who have a broken heart and save such as have a contrite spirit. These powerful words remind us that even in our lowest moments, God is near, ready to provide comfort and healing. In Isaiah 40, 29, we read, He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, He increases strength. When you feel like you can't go on, remember that God will give you strength to persevere. In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, we are reminded of these uplifting words. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Even in our weakest moments, God's grace is more than enough to carry us through. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, we find this powerful promise. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. God has a plan for your life even in the midst of brokenness and he wants to restore your hope. In Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6 we are urged trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. As we hold on to our faith we must remember that healing can come in many forms. It may be through medical treatment, the support of loved ones, or even miraculous intervention. Our role is to trust in God's timing and process. So, today let us come together in faith, seeking healing and restoration. Let us lay our burdens before God, knowing that He alone is our ultimate healer. We can also find strength in Isaiah 41 verse 10 where God says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Let's look at some steps to wholeness. In the midst of life's challenges, finding wholeness may seem like an elusive dream, but it is not because it is possible and it starts with taking practical steps step number one take a moment to pause breathe and be still in the busyness of life finding time for yourself can be difficult but it's essential for our healing step two open up your heart in prayer connect with god and let your worries and fears pour out remember the words from philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to god and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through christ jesus step three write down your prayers and requests keep a journal to track your progress and moments where faith reveals itself in your life step four take off yourself physically Engage in activities that bring you joy, whether it's exercising, 
dancing to your favorite music, journaling. Step five, seek support from your loved ones. Share your journey with trusted friends or family members who can provide comfort, guidance, and understanding. Sometimes healing takes time, but with these practical steps, you are on your path to wholeness. Now let's look at biblical stories of healing. Some of the individuals in the Bible who experienced healing and restoration. Consider Naaman, a commander afflicted with leprosy. Despite initial doubt, he followed faithfully the instructions of prophet Elisha when Naaman immersed himself in the Jordan River seven times. As directed, his flesh underwent a miraculous restoration, becoming as clean as that of a young boy. The story of the woman with the issue of blood. Desperate for healing, she reached out and touched the hem of Jesus' garment and instantly made whole by her unwavering faith. Jesus affirmed, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Mark verse 5, 34. Consider also the story of Lazarus entombed for four days after his demise. Jesus with authority over death summoned Lazarus back to life with the command, Lazarus, come forth. Witnessing this remarkable event, Lazarus emerged. A testament to the transformative power of Christ, John 11, 43 to 44. These biblical chronicles of healing impart a profound lesson. In the face of adversity, divine redemption is always within reach. As we reflect on God's restoration in the lives of those who came before us, we can find assurance that he can bring healing to our very lives today. So when you find yourself in need of healing, remember these words of encouragement from the Bible. Jeremiah 30, 17 says, For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds. Let's look at how we overcome challenges. Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, triumphs and challenges. Along the way, we often face obstacles that threaten to derail us from the path of wholeness. But fear not, for there is a way to conquer these challenges and rise above. So how do we overcome these challenges, you may ask? How do we rise above and become conquerors? Let's have a look at Romans 8 verse 37, which reminds us that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. It's important to remember that challenges are not meant to break us. They are opportunities for growth and transformation. Through each struggle, we become stronger, wiser, and even more resilient. Keep faith, stay strong, and remember that truly you are more than a conqueror through him who loved you. Let's look at God's promises of restoration and renewal. Number one, mending what is broken. Isaiah 61 verse 1, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prisons to those who are bound. Number two, transforming pain into beauty. Let's continue with Isaiah 61 from verse two to three. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called the tree of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Number three, new heart and spirit. Rebuilding what is broken. Ezekiel 36, 26. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will take the heart of stone out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Number four, establishing a firm foundation. Psalm 40, verse 2. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my steps. Number five, redemption and a new identity in Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Number six, a future filled with hope. Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, 
thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Number seven, continuous process of restoration. Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Number eight, guidance and abundant life. Psalm 32 verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Let's look at practical tools for applying biblical principles to our daily lives. Have you ever wondered how you can apply biblical principles to transform your daily life? Get ready to level up your spiritual journey and live out your faith in a tangible way. Let's look at prayer. Prayer is not just a monologue, but it's a two-way conversation with God. It's about seeking His will and aligning ourselves with it. Next, let's look at forgiveness. We know that it is not easy, but it is essential for our well-being. With the help of the Holy Spirit, we can let go of any grudges and embrace a life of freedom and healing. Now, let's dive into the importance of gratitude. Gratitude is a game changer. By focusing on what we have rather than what we lack, we can unlock a profound sense of peace and contentment. Another vital principle is love. Love is more than just a feeling, it's an action. Additionally, let's embrace the power of faith. Faith is not the absence of doubt but the courage to even trust when things seem uncertain. Remember, as you apply biblical principles in your daily life, you become a powerful force of positive change in yourself and the world around you. James chapter 1 verses 22 reminds us to be doers of the word and not hearers only deceiving ourselves. Let's take a moment to pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts acknowledging your sovereignty over our lives. We lift those who are on a journey to wholeness, seeking your healing touch. Pour out your grace, O Lord, as they navigate the path of restoration. He himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. May this assurance of healing through Christ's sacrifice resonate in your journey to wholeness. Let the words of Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 resonate in your hearts. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. May the peace of God envelope and guide you on your journey. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Remember, dear friend, you are loved by God and your journey to wholeness is held in the hands of a faithful and a compassionate father. May his peace and restoration be with you always. Amen. Please feel free to check these videos on prayer. And remember to like this video, share with others and subscribe to our channel for more uplifting content. Cheers. Stay blessed.